That hurts, but uh, this was an emergency. So we just gotta do what we gotta do. The real NV87, the blind NV87. The NV87 who doesn't care what the screen looks like. Mm. You guys, I cannot believe what I just, oh. two phones. They both look and feel just similar enough. I was running and grabbing and I'm going into work with the wrong phone. I can't do anything on this phone. This can't be happening. <laughs> and there's nothing Ira can do for me now because I have my Ira smartphone that doesn't work. So because it doesn't work, they can't help me. <laughs> I have a clock. <laughs> That's literally all I have on this phone. A clock and a, I guess a connection to my iTunes. <sighs> God. Now I'm gonna get to work with plenty of time to spare and all I'm gonna wanna do is run home. <laughs> and technically it's my time so I probably could do that, but how am I gonna do that? I mean, what am I gonna do? Get someone to call me a cab? And then what am I gonna pay for it with? This would not be happening. I mean, it is a holiday, but this is what I'm talking about. If this was a holiday where I didn't have to work, this wouldn't be happening. But it's not completely... I, I don't know. I need to put something... I need... I need more than... It looks to the hands. It feels exactly the same except for one thing. And that one thing is something I didn't notice until I was sitting here on the door-to-door -door transit bus. We are well underway. And I'm realizing, no, I did not freaking grab this phone. Slap you in the face and throw water, ice water in your face to wake you up. Yes, you fucking did. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. What am I going to do? I can either just come to grips with the fact that there is no, I'm just a million percent disconnected right now, and I'm going to be until I can get home, or I can recognize that I really need my phone and figure out some way to get home and get it. But how am I going to get home and get it? It is not anyone in my company's job to drive me home to get anything. I am not asking any coworkers to do that. I might ask someone to call me a cab, but again, how am I going to pay for it? I suppose I could run home and get my wallet at the same time I get my phone and give them that particular debit card. And it's about timing. The one thing I have in this phone that really essentially is an iPod in the body of an iPhone, an iPod in the body of an iPhone. It's as if I grab my iPod instead of my iPhone. And there are no Wi-Fi networks at my workplace that are not specifically for my workplace. And messaging or, you know, doing anything on work Wi-Fi is not appropriate. Besides, I would need passwords and stuff. And I don't have that because for my job, I don't connect to the Internet. So, but I mean, everything from clocking in to work to just anything I need that phone for. I mean, I can't message my boss on this thing. I could try to send a message and it wouldn't go through. Number one, because it's not connected to any kind of Wi-Fi or cellular signal. How is it supposed to transmit anything? Number two, she's got an Android and I've got an iDevice. Androids and iDevices don't talk to each other unless there's a cell connection or a Wi-Fi cell connection, I do believe. I tried to use this phone to send a text to somebody who had an Android and the message failed. I had to, if I really would have wanted to send that message, I would have had to send it again from my phone. Yeah, the phone that's sitting in my apartment right now. Oh my God, I can't believe this happened. Okay. 
What options do I have? Well, we'll see what time it is when I get into work. Actually, he said he had one person to drop off and then he's dropping me off. We already dropped that person off, so it probably won't be long. I literally could have as much as an hour, and if I do have as much as an hour, I'm not sitting around here in the break room thinking, God, I wish I had my phone. I need my phone. Blah, 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 blah. I need to get home and get it. <laughs> if at all possible. And I hate to get a cab versus an Uber, because if I think Uber is expensive, a cab's going to be more expensive. The thing is, I don't know how to get an Uber and not get somebody else to pay for it, which is not their job. Again, if my Iris smartphone worked the way it was supposed to right now, well, if it worked the way it was supposed to, I don't know if I would have it right now. But if I did, I would... See, this is why I need a phone. This is why I need my backup iPhone to literally be a backup iPhone, to be connected to cell connection. So that if something did go down like this, I could text my boss and say, hey, this is a screwy number, but this is me. I left my real phone at home. This is like a fake phone, but I still have connection to it. And I'm telling you, I'm here and I'm working. <laughs> I want another iPhone that has cell connection for situations like this. When I like, I'm all over the place, freaked out, hurried, and grabbed the wrong phone. So I'm not like totally screwed. As it is, well, like I say, we'll see what time it is when I get to work. If I can't go home and get it, because I'm not going home, getting it, waiting forever for an Uber. You don't usually have to wait forever for an Uber, but waiting forever for an Uber and then ending up late for work when I finally do get back with my phone. What am I going to say? Sorry it took so long, but I got here. I literally walked in the door, didn't have the right phone, had to run home and get the right phone. Now here I am, 20 minutes late for work, but uh, clocking in for what it's worth, I don't think so. Okay, it's literally 8.30 something. I have an hour, literally an hour. If I act now, I might be able to... Okay, I'm trying to figure out... I. The only thing I can think of to do is maybe if there's a way we can call a cab and I could run, because I'm not, you know, I don't start till 10. Mm -hmm. I literally have over an hour before I really have to be here. I could probably run home, grab it, if we could find a way to get me out of here, like, as fast as possible. We have got the best receptionist. He's calling me a cab. Because <sighs> I just, it's, it is literally... 8.35 a.m. It's literally 8.35. I seriously, literally have an hour before I have to seriously be here and in the let's get ready to work mode. I can't just sit around here for an hour thinking, ah, why did I grab the wrong phone? I've got to go home and get the right one. Okay, things are working out. Got a cab driver that is perfectly native. I could explain to him what was going on. He seems... Let me get in the cab and I'll finish this. Kind of a tough vehicle to get in, but the guy speaks perfect English. I completely was able to tell him what was going on. He understands how this is going to have to happen, and he seems okay with it, so I'm running home, getting my debit card and my phone. This vehicle is equipped with accessible technology for passengers with visual disabilities. Tap the screen two times to activate. Okay, do you know anything about this technology that works for people with visual problems? Because that's exactly who I am. I have no vision at all. So, theoretically, does this mean I could swipe my card and everything with the screen? I mean, I don't know anything about how to okay. use this technology. Do you know how to tell me how to do it? Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you're willing and if we have... Time. I mean, I'll, I'll see what time it is. We'll take time into consideration, but I'm willing to try it if, if there's time and if you're willing to let me try it. I mean, I thought about getting an Uber, but I was like, okay, whose Uber am I going to... I mean, the receptionist was like, well, I could call you a cab or an Uber or something. I'm like, well, dude, 
how are you going to call me an Uber and then I pay for it? You're going to be stuck with my Uber bill, right? He's like, right. oh, you're right. I'm like, I think I'm going to have to go with a cab. That's probably more expensive, but that's what I get for leaving my correct phone at home. I don't want him having to pay my Uber bill. It's Veterans Day. Why don't we take Veterans Day off like we take every other holiday off? If we did, I wouldn't have to worry about any of this because I'd be like hanging out at home like without a care in the world today. But I thank God I have this job, so I'm thankful that even though I wish we took this day off, I'm glad that I have this job to go to. All right, I'll be right back. Oh my God, you come here. One notification. You. You belong there. You're where you belong. <sighs> Some people have the guts to just record everything that everyone says and put it up on YouTube. That's not me. I just can't do that. So I don't know how, when I get done editing this, it's going to sound. But you're not going to hear anything that people say. Or, or if you do, you won't hear much of it. So you won't be able to follow the conversation. But... I just can't put whole conversations out there. I'm scared it's gonna come back to kick me in the ass. See, even my workplace acknowledges the day. I'm reading an email. Send a nice email, that's all you can expect, I guess, but... And that email thread that I am just feeling yucky about, I'm just gonna have to shield myself from it by anything with that subject. It just gets deleted. Okay, you said that it's tough to put a tip on. Um, I've got a little bit of cash. I don't know if it's a decent tip, but you yeah. deserve something. My God, you've been great. $58. Wait a second, we're not even there yet. No. How close are we? Okay. I just, part of my concern is I'm keeping an eye on the time. I'll make it. It'll be alright. I believe it. That hurts, but uh, this was an emergency. So we just gotta do what we gotta do. Charge selected. Please insert or swipe card. Authorizing. Please remove your card. Okay. Now, this is a crappy tip. It's about 10%, but you know. <sighs> Alright. When all that's over. I get to work with five, ten minutes to spare, so... It's seriously time to get to work mode. Alright, I got to the break room literally with nine minutes to spare. I said nine minutes before I really have to start working. Well, I said this is a crappy tip. It's only like 10%, but here you go. It's like, you know, it's okay. When you as a cab driver get a round trip like this, you end up in pretty good shape, and you know, that's a pretty hefty fare as it is. Don't worry about it. I'm like, thank you. That's so sweet. He was wonderful. <sighs> if this had to happen, thank God I got that cab driver as opposed to someone who <sighs> wouldn't have been as helpful or as able to help me. Or See, even though I really could have lived without all of this. It worked out perfectly, or 
almost perfectly. Okay. I am about to go to work. Okay, I'm on lunch right now. It's 12.50 p.m. and 50 seconds. 12.50. It's the latest lunch I've taken in a long time, if ever. But it's okay. This part of the vlog might be kind of lame, but oh well. I ran into my boss's boss after I got back after the cab trip today. And I was saying, you know, why don't we have this day off? I might just next year take a PTO day. She's like, sure. <laughs> if you want to, go ahead. Um, but, you know, it's true. It's PTO days are there for the taking. It's just you've got to prearrange it unless it truly is an emergency. Like, you're injured, you're sick, your animal is sick if you have an animal. I don't as of now, but a long-term life goal is to get another one. I, I had to put my kitty down five, six years ago, and I miss my little cuddle buddy. His name literally was Buddy. He was a warm, soft, lovable, snuggly little kitty witty. And um, I want another one when I can afford one. I haven't even built an account yet. Okay, the work day's over and I got through the day, didn't doze off. I may end up dozing off in the car on the way home, or on the way to the post store rather, the post, where my post box is. <laughs> My plan now is to go to my post box, get this package that I think is the box to send the iris stuff back in, turn the box around immediately because it's going to be easy enough to pack that up. I mean, I brought it for this very reason. And then I'm just going to go home and vegetate. <laughs> After the day I've had, I just want to do nothing. <laughs> I'm not going to make myself edit. I'm not going to make myself... I'll have to finish that grocery list, but that's like all I want to do with what's left of the day after I get home. I am just <sighs> exhausted already. Before I wallow in my exhaustion though, I want to take another minute and say again, thank you to everyone who has served in the military, army, navy, any kind of armed forces. You've suffered in ways that I probably could never imagine and endured things I wouldn't want to imagine so that I could do what I wanted to do. Well, me and everyone else who lives in this country, thank you for that. Thank you. I'm saying thank you a lot today. But it's November, it's the month of Thanksgiving, it's, it makes sense. <laughs> I think most, if not all of us, can stand to stop and take a moment and have some gratitude. I'm getting email after email, and I'm scared to look at it because I suspect that conversation thread is not over, and I don't want to see where it goes. I don't want to read any of that. Like I said, I'll just... When I recognize that subject, I'll just delete it, but still, it's like... It, <laughs> go away. I just don't want to... <sighs> okay, let's get out of here. The work day's over. I'm out of here. Okay, I'm home. I've been home for a couple hours now, actually. I just haven't vlogged. I don't know if there's gonna be much I'm gonna vlog tonight. Hi, everyone. Okay, <laughs> like I said, this part of the vlog is lame, but it is now, like, between the two days. It's between Monday and Tuesday right now. It's the middle of the night. I went home from work thinking I could just pass out here. I ended up being awake for, like, the whole time until I finally just crashed at 8, 8.15, and then woke up at like 1.45. I certainly do hope I fall back to sleep between now and 6.30, 7 o'clock, because that's five and a half hours of sleep, which isn't bad, but 
it's still not time for me to be up and going already. But I do think now is a good time to close this vlog out because hopefully tomorrow, today, whatever, turns out to be a better day. But first of all, it will help if I... Oh my god. It'll help if I get the right phone. <sighs> I, my door-to-door -door transit window is as awful this morning or tomorrow morning, whatever, as it was yesterday morning or this morning. Ugh, things are so confusing when you're between the two days and you don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> but things just took a turn for the more complicated. When we were halfway to work and I realized, shit, I did not get the right thing and now this is completely disconnected from anything. The truth is, the overspender in me wants to either activate that iPhone with some kind of cellular connection or get a new iPhone and get a cellular connection there to where if I did grab the wrong one by mistake, I could still do what I needed to do. I think I talked about that yesterday. I think I said something like, okay, if I could, I would at least text my boss from here and say, hey, look, I know this is a wonky number, but... This is like my backup phone, and it's what I grabbed, so I have to use this. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> and clocking in. Um, part of me thinks, well, I can satisfy the overspender in me if I can make it possible to actually afford stuff like that. Which is where, well, that's... Maybe it's not a bad idea. Maybe it can turn into a good idea once I literally have the money to make it happen. Anyway, as lame as this last part of the vlog is, I think I'm going to keep it this way, and I think I'm going to close it down now. Okay, I'm, I'm not too exhausted to know what I'm talking about, but I sound like I am. I'm rambling, so I'm seriously going to close this out. Thank you for watching. Please follow me on Twitter, or if you must, on Facebook. Check out the description below for services and petitions that I believe in, and I'll see you in the next video when you hear what I have to say.